Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Throwback Thursday 4K action figure review on the Marvel Legends Thor Ragnarok Movies Scourge and Hela 2-Pack. And this video is brought to you by DMW All Things Marvel. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this YouTube channel. Check them out, link in the description below. They don't only sell figures, they have an awesome community over there, so check them out. And they hooked me up with this 2-Pack set of Colossus and Juggernaut. And you may be thinking, hey Shardimus, you already have those. Why did you ask them for this two-pack set? Well, my Colossus had some pretty gnarly paint apps, so I wanted a new Colossus figure, and I have no need for this Juggernaut. What am I going to do with that Juggernaut figure? It's going to the patrons, so if you guys want to sign up, help support the channel, enter the giveaways, check out the Patreon account, link below. But anyway, going over here, we have this nice packaging, which I've held on to this whole time since I've had this two-pack set. And then on the side, you can see Scourge right there, and then on the back, you can see a poster image, and then there's read-ups on each of the characters uh, for Hela, right here it says the ambitious goddess of death, Hela returns to Asgard to claim the throne after the death of her father Odin. To further her dark goals, she raises an army of fallen Asgardian warriors to fight for her as, uh, as her berserkers. And then for Scourge, it says an Asgardian warrior desperate to prove himself worthy, Scourge's survival instinct leads him to join Hela and become her executioner. Scourge must wrestle with desire for self-preservation in the face of Hela's violence against his home. Oh man, tough, tough situation for Scourge. And then right here on the side you can see a nice beautiful image of Hela and then on the top you get the embossed Marvel logo and not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here we have Hela with her eternal flame and then we have Scourge right here with Des and Troy so good looking figures right off the bat I must say if they're not a little blurry right there so that's pretty cool and speaking of eternal flame I mean man keep one shot right eternally hot I guess you know especially for the age she looks so good in that movie but anyway let's look at the accessories so we get the eternal flame right here which is a flame that we've seen before with several other figures uh, it doesn't look too bad you know and you can see it's a little bit darker so I do like that I believe this is the one that came with the other figure or I was just using this it came with Scarlet Witch I, I could be totally wrong I forgot but this is a much better flame for the display uh, we also get the crushed Mjolnir right here so you can see the Cape Blanchett hand holding the crushed Mjolnir. I just want to get a little bit more light on this because you get this nice gunmetal color. Uh, the plastic does have a little bit of marbling going on right there, but I do like the cracks sculpted in it and everything. The hand looks really good. So I'm liking that. That's pretty sweet. And then we also get interchangeable heads for Hela. All of them look fantastic. I'm really happy with these. Uh, you can see this one with the hair down over the eye a little bit. Oh, man. So beautiful looking. Really dig it quite a bit like that the photo real tech on it is superb man really like that paint around the eyes the hair dripping down it's nice soft material too so that's cool nice sculpted hair beautiful looking face love it and then we have this one right here with the hair all combed back or not combed but you know her hair is all put back right there and that is a great looking profile shot of King Blanchett and Hela, so I really dig that quite a bit. They did a really good job. Uh, for a comparison, here's the one that came with the first version, and you can see this one has a lot more of a zombie kind of look, uh, a little bit more of a glossy finish. Not bad, though, you know. But this first one does not look bad at all, but yeah, these two right here, they look so much better. And I just like it so much more. And then looking at this head sculpt right here, this looks really good. You have the helmet on there, or the, or the headgear. And yeah, that's a lot more film accurate than the first version, so you can see the comparison between the two. While I like them both, you know, yeah, this one's a lot more film accurate. Uh, the headdress section is the same exact thing, though. And then looking at the rest of the figure, I do like it. It is more film accurate. Again, I mean, pulling this one out, you can see there's green where it shouldn't be green. This one's black where it should be. The only problem is, is that the skin tone right here is very sensitive, and you can see that it's gotten a bit scuffed and everything, so you're seeing green plastic come through that flesh tone, so that bothers me. So look out for that if you happen to see this on the shelf and you can sort through some. And I like the metallic green throughout. The sculpt we've all seen before. But just really like the metallic green on this. A lot more accurate looking. And a lot more vibrant than the older version right here. You can see. And then you can take the cape off again. The cape is a lot shinier and more vibrant than the older version. And you could remove this right over here. Just as before. And get the Blanchet Nalgas looking fantastic. Look really, really good. So I like that. All the detail on the back. And eh, they skimped out on this. They could have painted that green, I guess. But she has the cape, so... 
yeah, they didn't do that. So yeah, nice looking figure. She has the peg holes at the bottom of her feet. I'm gonna swap the heads right here just cause I wanna see how, oh man, a little tricky to do. Let's see if I can get this look going right there. And then I wanna put that Mjolnir hand in. Oh yeah, that looks sick. Ever notice that like the background for this like completely changed, right? Cause in the trailer, They'd shown this and then it was like in the city streets or something like that. And then all of a sudden they're like, I don't know, in Norway or something like out in the field. And then we have Scourge right here. So uh, the Scourge accessory, he comes with his infamous axe that he's mostly known for in the comics, I think. Right. You always see Scourge with an axe. By the way, I have the Marvel Universe Enchantress and Scourge 2-pack. Uh, that was like one of one of my very last purchases at Toys R Us. So I'm going to do a throwback Thursday review of that 2-pack set. So I have a comic scourge to compare to this one later, but I don't have that set open yet. But anyway, he does come with interchangeable hands right here to hold the axe. So that's great. Nice metallic blue paint on these. Then he has these gun holding hands, as you could clearly see. He has Des and Troy right here, both looking pretty good. You know, the automatic uh, uh, pow pows. Yeah, uh, these look like um, some kind of a pow pow. Yeah, I, I don't know. They, they do look uh, very similar to each other though. So pretty cool looking, I like that. And then the head sculpt looks amazing, man. I really love this head sculpt quite a bit. That looks really good. Man, just dead on. Love all the little scars and everything that we're seeing right here. That's very cool. Let's thought for a second, I may have scuffed my figure, but he does have a little bit of da damage right there. And the tattoos are actually elevated on the head. So that's pretty neat. I missed the mark a little bit right there. Not enough to really piss me off or anything, but I think that looks really good for the most part. And the metallic blue and the silver just looks so great on this figure, man. I'm really digging this. I like the design and everything for this. Just awesome. Nice little touches of detail with the little three, you know, bright blue parts right there above the crotch piece. That's neat. I like that. Uh, I mean, dude, this is a really good figure. I really like this quite a bit. Nice details throughout. Get your scourge. But, and then you get the Scourge wrinkles right here, Scourge crotch, <laughs> and then you get the nice wrinkle on the pants right there and everything, nice texturing throughout, I like that quite a bit, very cool looking figure, and he has peg holes right there, so very cool, and I'm not going to go over the hella articulation, you guys know how that goes, you may already know how the articulation goes on Scourge anyway, so, um, but I'm still going to, you know, go over the articulation right here, he can look all the way up, and he will look down, you get side to side motion, no head pivoting, uh, shoulder, <laughs> shoulders move outward that far, they move down, rotate forward and back, this will shift and move out of the way, it's actually pegged in, in the front and in the back, so it does have these pins, so you can move this shoulder piece forward and back, but not as much as I'd like, but yeah, you still get a good range of motion. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then on both hands, on all four hands, sorry, they swivel and hinge up and down. You can see that right over here, hinges up and down as well. Diaphragm joint turn side to side, diaphragm pivot, crunches forward only a tiny bit and back a little more so. No waist joint at all. Hips move outward that far, and he will kick forward that much. It's kind of a funny pose. And back, upper thigh cut, doubler jointed knees, ankles move down, ankles move up, and he has a beautiful ankle pivot. Great figure. Gotta say, the Scourge right here, man, really good looking piece. So let's get some of these other hands on here just to change things up. I like to start the video with one uh, look that Hasbro has for us with these, and then I'll switch to another look, you know, when we get towards the end of these. That's kind of like... What I'm going for with these 4K reviews. So I'm going to stand him up right now. And then going to get hella... I don't like how you see this flat part right here, by the way. That that can be frustrating. So I kind of wish this was a bit smoother. Especially when he's tilted all the way back. It gets super gappy. So be wary of that. I guess that's my biggest gripe with the Scourge figure. But anyway, let's get him all set up right here. And then we'll get Hella set up right there. And I got a lamp falling on me again. So the reason why the lamps fall on you is because you want them on the subject. And to get them on the subject, you have to move them in front. And in order to move the figures, you have to move your hands in front. So just <laughs> creates a recipe for things getting knocked over. Bam! Wow. Just talk about one with the universe. Wow, she is quite tall. You can really see how tall that Hella figure is right there. All right, so to measure both of these figures out and kick the exposure up a little bit, you can see that the Blanchette is standing uh, right just a little over seven inches tall, and the Scourge is standing 
uh, right above the six and a half inch mark. And then for a comparison with the previous Hella figure, still not a bad figure, man. Still not a bad figure at all. It's just that this newer one is just so much better. I do like this newer one a whole lot more. God, I, I just thought Kate Blanchett was awesome in the movie. Uh, we've had so many bad villains or weak villains in the MCU, and having cool ones like Hela, oh man, it's so refreshing. So you could see Thor Ragnarok, Thor right there, and you could see, well, I keep, just knocked this right onto myself right there. Oh yeah, you're probably enjoying that. You guys like it when I fall and get hurt, don't you, don't you, you sick mother, I'm just kidding, and then you have Loki right here, which does look a little on the short side, right, I mean, he's shorter than Scourge, Thor and Loki are more or less the same height, and I know Tom Hiddleston's a pretty tall dude, and then, I just happen to remember I have a helmetless uh, Gladiator Hulk right here, and uh, yeah, so, there you go, you can see how huge he is, and he's got no helmet on, but yeah, so there's your Thor Ragnarok comparison, and then last but not least, you have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. Hey, green on green. You like green? I like green. <laughs> There's your sketch. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. But anyway, I really like these figures a lot. Happy to review them. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it, especially because they've been out for a long time. And I understand if, you know, people didn't want to see this video because they probably, uh, I don't know, don't care to see a video on figures that have been out for a while. But I appreciate you guys watching. Sincerely do. Hope you hit, uh, enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And I'll catch you guys later.